we got the moon in Scorpio right now. <clears throat> and we also know what that means. <clears throat> we also have the Pluto return today. And we also have Pluto and Capricorn. So this is opportunities to take full power and control over your goals, your passions, and your motives. We also have the South Node in Scorpio. So past demons, past ghosts, past skeletons are going to pop right back up. And of course, you got to face these inner demons or fight them out. You can't just let them crew your space and pile up on it, pile up a shit. You got to get the shovel. You got to undertake a day ass into the grave. And of course, you got to face your worries and your fears. And of course, if you don't do this, the Pluto return will show you that is going to take full control over that perspective. And then, of course, everything might get transformed. Now, what's going to help you is the North Node in Taurus, which is patience, progress. Patience pays over progress. And, of course, you got the South Node of Scorpio. So this means you need to basically transform and, of course, destroy anything that's not helping you or serving you. Also, you need to start planting good seeds towards these areas because these areas are going to basically grow up. And, of course... If, when the moon gets into Sagittarius, if you're still stagnated, you're not going to be able to move. You're not going to be able to expand. You're going to be basically getting encyclopedia by those goddamn skeletons. <clears throat> of course, you're going to be underneath the bed with them. So this is transforming and, of course, taking full custody and control over what area you have, Scorpio, in your house. Feel me? We also got the sun and Pisces. So, of course, you need to be paying attention towards your dreams, your imaginations, your creativity, and, of course, your fantasies. Also, we have Neptune there. So, of course, you need to spend time with yourself. In La La Land, and you also need to utilize the Jupiter, which is in Pisces, to expand that dream because you want your dreams to expand. Feel me? And this is the last stage. We already built the head from the, from the ankles. Now we only got the feet left. So of course, once you got your feet, once everything is equipped, you'll be able to move. You'll be able to basically walk on water. Now, if you plant bad seeds during this month, what's gonna happen is your ass gonna have to play catch up. When it comes to Aries season. And of course, you're going to go through some trauma in that area as well. Because Chiron is still in Aries. And you don't want to be going through trauma. So you want to make sure you make the most of it and the best of it. And of course, planting the good seeds. We also got the sun trine moon. So there's basically a gift to see where you can basically take full control of your dreams. Your progressions. And of course, areas where you can basically transform. So you can basically not feel stagnated. And of course, get the ball rolling. Now, the, in the houses that you have these areas at in, you need to pay attention to your dreams. Keep things hidden. <clears throat> of course, transform things behind closed doors. Don't allow individuals to know too much. <clears throat> the moon and Scorpio love to keep things hidden and love to stay down until it comes up. So make sure you and the energies of staying down until you come up when it comes to your dreams, your fantasies. And of course, you're going to be feeling real deep about these things. Also, the moon falls in Scorpio, so it's kind of like sleep here. So emotions can basically get piled up and things like that matter. But of course, these things must be transformed when the moon gets to Sagittarius, which is fire. We ain't dealing with deep feelings and emotions in the